Uh, our next two movies both open on August 3rd. That happens sometimes in Hollywood. Big old collision. Usually only one survives. We'll see. Uh, the first of the two movies, alphabetically speaking, is called The Bourne Legacy. B-O-U-R-N-E Legacy. Bourne because it's meant to remind you of Jason Bourne and has a lot of the same setup. Legacy because it's not Matt Damon. It's a whole new character played by Jeremy Renner, who we remember earlier from his role in The Avengers. Now, I loved the first three Bourne movies, so I really hope this one works out. But it has a different director. This one is directed by Tony Gilroy, who helped write the first three Bourne movies, and who also wrote and directed a fantastic movie called Michael Clayton. So he's a smart guy, and uh, I hope he makes a great action director. Let's see. There is nothing that you wouldn't do for this country. You have the strength to do what's necessary. Welcome to the program. Jason Bourne was the tip of the iceberg. Who the hell is he? He's an outcome agent. He's Treadstone without the inconsistency. We have never seen evaluations like this. Number 10 on our list is a remake of Total Recall. You gotta remember Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was one of the last great pre-CG special effects films and it's kind of notorious for its insane violence and also loved because of its crazy visuals. Remember those eyes sticking out on stalks on Mars? Well, this new reboot doesn't even go to Mars, but it is based on another Philip K. Dick story called We Can Remember It For You Wholesale, about a guy who goes to Recall, Inc. to have the false memory of a vacation implanted in his head, and things go south from there. And it becomes one of those big mind-screw movies, like, is it really happening, or is he dreaming? Which character's real, which are not? Anyway, the trailer looks like a lot of fun. The visuals will remind you a lot of Minority Report. The only thing really that worries me about this movie is that it's directed by a guy named Len Wiseman, who is really famous mostly for having a hot wife and for <laughs> directing the Underworld movies that star his hot wife in a corset. Here is Len Wiseman's take on... Total Recall. What do you know about this recall place? Stay away from them. Don't mess with your mind, man. Welcome to Recall. First time? Tell us your fantasy. We'll give you the memory. You want to be a crime fighter, a world class athlete, or a secret agent? Yeah. Happy trails, man. What is it? What's wrong? Yank that needle out before it takes. Why are you here? Oh, why? No, no, please. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. It's all a mistake. Nobody. Hands on your head now! Why are you trying to kill me? Your memory was erased. Your mind was implanted with a life you think you've lived. Oh, and by the way, you haven't even begun to see me trying to kill you. Get in. I've been looking for you everywhere.
So that completes our top 10 list. Now you may have noticed that I didn't spend any time at all talking about some other heavily hyped summer movies like uh, Battleship or Piranha 3 Double D. That's really what it's called. Or The Expendables 2 or Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Anyway, uh, there is one more movie I have to tell you about. I feel that I would be remiss if I did not bring it to your attention. Um, it was made in Europe by Europeans, but it was made in English, and it's kind of about us. And the trailer is so bananas that I kind of think you have to see it. It's already been released in Europe. I don't know what the reviews were. I, I don't even care frankly, because if the movie looks anything like this trailer, I want in. Here is the trailer, in full. Judge for yourself. Only moments ago, New York has come under attack. Witnesses claim to have seen hundreds of UFOs. It's opening fire! Oh my god! from the moon. <laughs> That's too much. One word from me, and the invasion from the moon begins. Invasion? Y'all must be tripping. Now my question is, what do y'all plan to do about it? Because we just happen to have a little something up our own sleeve. All presidents who start a war in their first term get reelected. Und fegen alle diese Untermenschen von der Erdkarte. Shit, this just keeps getting better and better. We are the promise delivered to all mankind. We raise our hands to one nation. We march to the beat of one heart. The world is sick, but we are the doctors. We see us in Valhalla. It's the dark side of the moon. I love it. So, until next time, this is Christian Carvajal signing off. Thank you so much for joining me here on Carve's Thinky Blog. I'll see you at the movies this summer, and you stay classy, San Diego. It's the dark side of the moon.